Tanshi, Bojo, hello everybody. My name is Justine Woods and I'm a Métis interdisciplinary designer based in Toronto. I'm originally from the Georgian Bay Métis community, Region 7. I'm so excited to be here with you all today to share some videos on how to make pucker toe moccasins. So, let's get started. To make the moccasin pattern, we're going to be using an 8 by 14 inch piece of paper as well as a trace out of your foot. Once your foot has been traced out, go ahead and blend in any curves or bumpiness around the toe area. You're then going to want to cut this piece out. Once cut out, fold the piece in half and draw a line down the middle. You'll also want to draw a line down the middle of your paper lengthwise. For the next step, mark a one inch guideline up from the bottom of the paper. We're going to take our foot cutout and match up the center line with the center line of the paper, making sure that the heel matches at that one inch guideline. Go ahead and use a dashed line to trace around the shape of our cutout. We're now going to draw in our guidelines. Our first guideline is at the toe. Draw a horizontal guideline through the center line. Where the lines intersect, we're going to measure one inch up and draw a little tick mark. Our second guideline is at the widest part of our foot. We're going to draw another horizontal guideline. From the dash line on either side, measure out one inch and mark a little tick mark. Our third guideline is at the heel. Now we've already drawn this guideline, but we're just going to extend it out to the end of the paper. Next, taking your ruler, draw a vertical line from this tick mark here all the way to the bottom of the page. Where the lines intersect, we're going to measure out one inch. We're then going to draw a diagonal line from this tick mark through this tick mark all the way to the bottom of the page. The next step consists of drawing an umbrella or bell-like shape around the toe area of the pattern, matching this top tick mark here to the sides of our moccasin pattern. I've already done this side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw in this side. When looking at your pattern, and if you notice a little bit of an indent happening in these areas, you can go ahead and take your ruler and just blend in these areas so they're a little bit more smooth. Just like that. The next step is going to be creating a two by one inch box at the bottom of the heel. So I've just taken my ruler and I've created a two inch by one inch box. So this part is going to be cut out when we cut out the pattern. Once our pattern piece is all cut out, we're going to move it off to the side for just a moment. We need to make the pattern for the vamp. For the vamp, we'll need another piece of folded paper as well as our foot tracing. We're going to fold our foot tracing in half horizontally and again vertically, making sure that the side of the big toe is facing upwards. We're going to slide our foot tracing onto the folded edge of the paper and with a dash line, trace around the shape. Now we're going to draw in our guidelines. Our first guideline is at the big toe. Extend a guideline over to the center fold and a couple inches out. Our second guideline is at the widest part. Draw in your horizontal guideline and mark a quarter inch tick mark from the dash line. Our third guideline is at the bottom. Measure a quarter inch down from the dash line and mark your horizontal guideline a couple inches. Using a ruler, draw a vertical line from this tick mark here all the way down to the bottom. Now we're going to draw a nice smooth even curve from our center fold point back to this tick mark. When drawing this curve, it's okay if you cut off some of the dash line. Just like that. To finish off the bottom of the vamp pattern, 
we're going to draw a nice curved line from our dashed line here all the way to this corner where our lines intersect. For the final step, we need to make the entire pattern a quarter inch smaller than what it already is. So using a ruler, we're going to just make the entire pattern smaller by a quarter of an inch. Once the vamp is all cut out, all we need to do is mark the notches. The first notch goes in the middle right on the fold line. The other two notches go on either side of the vamp. To figure out the distance, we're going to fold the vamp into three. The first crease line is where the notches will go. To mark the notches on the moccasin sole pattern, fold down the top lip towards you. Line up the vamp, the center notch, with the fold line on the top lip. From the bottom corner of either side of the vamp, extend out and mark your notches. To ensure that they are even, take your ruler and line them up. Also, don't forget to mark your notch in the center fold at the top. And there you go. Both your patterns are complete. Join me tomorrow where I'll show you how to assemble the lining pieces.